it's me again. What we're going to do is I just did a video about um, sublimating on a canvas using Glitter HTV and then sublimating on top of that. But I'm going to show you another technique that I use to sublimate on canvas. And you really just need, this is laminating paper. And what you would do is it's you would take one side of the paper and cut it to whatever size that you need in order to laminate it on top of your canvas. This canvas is 100% cotton. I got this from the Dollar Tree. They sell these sorts of canvases at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and even Walmart. Um, it's the thin one. So it's easy to be pressed and you need your image what you're going to place on top of it and a little bit of heat tape okay so we are about to get started with placing our image on our canvas okay so i've measured a piece of the laminating paper um, to the size of the canvas the canvas is an eight by eight and um, i'm going to just simply place this on top of the canvas and if you have a little bit over, a little bit extra, um, all you can do is, all you should do is go around it with your X-Acto knife or some cutting blade just to get rid of it once it's laminated onto the canvas, okay? And so I am going to place a butcher sheet on top. And then what you're going to do next is make sure we're using the Cricut Easy Press today and it is, the temperature is on 250 and we're only going to press it for about 25 seconds, okay? Now it's time to put our picture on top of the canvas. So what we're going to do is we need to make sure we have with us our tape so that we can tape it on. It's usually a little bit easier. This is kind of how I do it to make sure that the tape, um, that it's straight. And then the reason why you make sure that you put the tape is because you don't want it to shift. Okay, so we're gonna take this down and then we will be ready in a second. Okay, so now we have our image taped onto the canvas board and I placed a little piece of parchment paper underneath and we are going to place a larger piece on top. And what we want to do is we want to make sure, since we're using the Cricut Easy Press, we are going to amp it all the way up to 360 degrees and we are going to press this for about 75 seconds and I'm going to put a little bit of my upper body weight onto the press as I'm pressing it. Okay, we are all done. Let's see how it came out. Here's 
doing this, be careful because it is very, very hot. Okay guys, so this is our print. Um, looks like in the corner, that's a problem with doing it with like the easy press. It's better to do it with your heat press, but the color, most of the color came off. I'm very happy with that. All right guys, so here's our final canvas with the picture sublimated onto the laminating sheet. Um, yeah. I think it came out good. The colors look really good. Uh, for those who may want to know, I use Cosmos ink along with an Epson Eagle Tank 15,000. And yeah, it came out really good. No complaints here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, please shoot me a message below and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching.